Like other property owners in the Trinity River bottom, Jim Reed wasn't always fond of the river. It smelled of sewage from nearby Dallas and Fort Worth and flooded the ranches. In fact, uh, uh, many times it was referred to as those sorry old river bottoms and primarily what, what happened was primarily because of the flooding conditions and, and it was the source of uh, circumstances in which uh, cattle were lost, calves were lost and sometimes men's lives uh, were lost. Uh, down here. But thanks to the efforts of the Trinity River Basin Environmental Restoration Initiative, water quality, flood control, wildlife habitats, and recreational opportunities are making a comeback from the river's headwaters north of the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex to its outlet into Galveston Bay more than 500 miles away. Two institutes of Texas A&M Agriculture are leading the initiative. The Texas Water Resources Institute, coordinates urban projects, and the Institute for Renewable Natural Resources manages rural efforts. Both are units of the Texas Agricultural Experiment Station and Texas Cooperative Extension. Dr. Jim Cathy, a Texas Cooperative Extension wildlife specialist, is instrumental in making the project run smoothly. He hosts group seminars and works with landowners, educating them about restoring and managing habitats. One of, the, one of the reasons why landowners are so important in the Trinity River Basin uh, restoration effort is that about 97% of the total land mass in Texas is probably held by, by landowners. And it's through their own management actions which can enhance uh, wildlife habitat, water quality, and water yield on, on those properties uh, in the Trinity River Basin. Years ago, ranchers and farmers cleared the land along the river for cattle grazing and cotton farming. With few trees and other vegetation to slow the storm water, runoff from the land causes water to travel much faster through the river corridor, scouring the banks and causing erosion all along the river. The restoration initiative helps landowners learn how to restore wetland areas to prevent erosion and improve their property to benefit wildlife and diversify ranch income. Reed and his family have reintroduced native trees and plants and have diversified what was once just a cow-calf operation to include wildlife enterprises. Visitors to the Reed family ranch now pay to hunt white-tailed deer, ducks, and hogs. Others camp, fish, and bird watch. And I think a lot of people are to the point where they uh, uh, perhaps feel like that, uh, that you have to sacrifice economic uh, sustainability for uh, land stewardship, and I think we've proven here at this ranch that that's not the case. The Trinity River drains one of the largest and most rapidly urbanizing areas in the nation and supplies water for more than 20 percent of Texas's population. Along the way, it passes through 38 counties in several major eco-regions. Ever-increasing demands affect both the quality and quantity of the water in the region. Restoring wetlands along the river improves water quality. Water from the Trinity is pumped into the wetlands where native plants and the soil filter the water naturally. And it's pretty dramatic difference. What you see is that chocolate water of the Trinity River in the first wetland cell. And by the time it's passed through the entire four cell system, that water is as clear almost to the point of what you see in bottled water. Not the same quality, it's not ready to drink, but dramatic difference in the amount of sediments and pollutants that are taken out of that by native plant processes. Here at the Richland Chambers Wetlands near Streetman, Texas, the naturally filtered water is pumped into the Richland Chambers Reservoir and ultimately will be piped back to customers in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Researchers with the project have been encouraged by the resurgence in wildlife along the river, indicating that the area is healthy. Through the restoration project, landowners along the river are learning how their collective land stewardship can reverse years of damage to the ecosystem while having a tremendous impact on water quality and quantity. A win-win situation for both humans and wildlife. So peaceful out here.